Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, uh, what's going on in your connection, and where it's all headed. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate for every Taurus watching. Check out your playlist if this doesn't resonate for you at all. It's linked in the description box. Um, please just take what applies to you and your situation. And this is going to be for Taurus. Okay, let's start with what are the energies in your connection at this time. Spare, what are the energies for Taurus in their connection at this time? What's going on for Taurus in love? Okay, we have divine timing. What's going on for Taurus in love? What's going on, Spare? Taking action. Okay. So I feel like there's some sort of movement here that's happening in divine timing in the right time. Let's get one more. What else for Taurus? Spirit, what else is coming for Taurus here is going on for Taurus in love? For Taurus. This reading will be um, for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? So we'll have to see, um, it looks like finances or career are, you know, could be a barrier in this connection or some sort of obstacle. Okay, so let's get some insight here. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more about this connection that Taurus is in at this time. Tell me about this connection that Taurus is dealing with at this time. What's going on in this connection? <clears throat> okay, we have the Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups. So someone here is not very happy in their connection or is having a bit of doubt, perhaps. There's a transition here, some sort of move that someone's thinking about making because I have the Taking Action card in the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is typically leaving a difficult situation. So let's see, why is the Six of Swords here for Taurus? <coughs> Excuse me. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Fool. Okay, so this is someone that's heading, wanting to have a new beginning of some sort. And it's going to deal with leaving a situation. Now, this could be you, Taurus. This could be your person. Um, but I feel like whatever this move is, someone's thinking about finances. And almost like there's doubt here with the two of pentacles, like the going up like a back and forth. Maybe there's a lot going on in this person's life. Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, someone's kind of like debating whether to end a situation. Scorpio energy there with the death card. Whether it's right to make this change. Tell me about the four of cups. What's this about? For Taurus, why is the four of cups here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Look at all these major arcanas that are coming up. <clears throat> Someone's really thinking about this with the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, I have the Moon, Pisces energy. So it's like there's an uncertainty. Someone's not really sure how something's going to play out. And this could also be someone one, wanting to maybe make a move towards you. Um... And they're, you know, they're probably debating this. Okay, let's see what this fool is about. Can I get some insight into this fool? What's this about, Spirit for Taurus? Can you give me some insight on the fool? Six of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is a risky move because someone's not sure this will be successful. Whatever this is, whether this is somebody leaving a difficult situation behind, 
making some sort of a transition in their life, a like career transition perhaps, or this is moving forward or moving towards you here. Tell me about the fool. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep seven of cups. Yeah, so basically this is someone that is unsure. They're probably um, nervous about possible conflict here, possible failure. I do have the five of swords at the bottom here and the high priestess. So there's some sort of unknowing. I feel like someone's feeling a bit burdened by this, by the fact that they're not sure. Should I, shouldn't I? What's on the other side of this decision? What's on the other side of this action that I'm thinking about? And again, this could be you or your person towards. So let's get some insight into your energies. Um, let me start with the hidden truth oracle. Oops. Spirit, tell me more for Taurus. Taurus, I'm going to have you on this side and your person on the other, but the energies can be flipped. Tell me about the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection spirit. What is Taurus thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? I replay our conversations over and over. Okay, tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What can you tell me about this other person? Finding out the truth crushed me. Bottom of the deck, I know I messed up everything. I feel like this person's realizing or having some sort of clarity about, you know, their part, the part that they played in this connection. What's this back here? Oh, this goes over here. All right, can I get some more insight into these two? Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus and their energy. The otter, okay. I feel like you're, um, you're... Okay, for some of you, um, I just keep getting this message because I, um, the otter is typically like, um, youthful energy but i'm getting like you are younger so a lot of you you're younger than this other person um normally i don't like hyper focus on that but but i got the, the message was they're younger they're younger okay so you are younger than this person but i'm also picking up you're thinking about what makes you happy here maybe this person makes you happy maybe this person makes you laugh um maybe they have a good sense of humor or you do um maybe you're just looking to have fun or have a good time um, but I'm also picking up that there, there could be an instance here where you're younger. Why does that matter though? I'm trying to figure out why that matters. Tell me more about this person that Taurus is dealing with. The butterfly. So they're going through some sort of change, transformation, and then the fire ant at the bottom of the deck. So, um, something could have happened here in this connection. Tell me about this otter energy. Tell me about this otter energy. Can you give me some insight, Spirit, please, into this otter energy? I feel like this is important, but I'm trying to figure out why. Wealthy man. Hmm. Okay, so for some reason, your age... You, you know, this could be that this person, it's something with age is, an, is a factor here. But I think this is more about um, money, finances and career. And for some reason, age matters there or age is a factor. Take it as it resonates, you know. I feel like the message, there's a message here about finances, obviously, with finances and career. But I think it's tied to age. So this could be something like... Um, you're concerned about finances or being too immature or not as successful as someone, maybe you're early in your career, or this person cares a lot about appearances or something like that. Maybe they're older than you and so you wanna impress them or you wanna show that you're mature and not like this young puppy. Um, but I think there's more to this. 
Tell me more about this. Actually, let me use my other deck. Tell me more about this person that Taurus is dealing with. Can I get some insight into this other person? I want a second chance. Hmm. That one came out pretty quick. So this is interesting. I'm going to be using different decks for both of you. So I'm hoping to get more clarity with the tarot. Let's start with you, Taurus. Spirit, give me some insight into Taurus and the energy that they're bringing to this connection. What's going on with Taurus when it comes to this connection? Oh my gosh, I just got the message. I just realized why age matters. I think there's children involved. That's why that's why finances matter. This is this is not about you being younger. It's about someone younger. I don't think that's going to be a message for everyone. But I think a lot of you there's children involved and that's a factor in this connection and it's tied to money some in some way. Let's see. That was a delayed message. I didn't get it at first why it mattered. Okay, tell me tell me more spirit. Tell me more about Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? The star, Aquarius energy, what's going on with Taurus? Ten of Wands, okay. What's going on with Taurus? So Taurus, you feel a bit burdened in this connection or have a lot on your mind. Yeah, you're the one debating, I feel. Two of, yeah, two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're the one debating about a choice, and this is kind of weighing on your mind here. I feel like a lot of you have an idea of what you want to do with the star. I have the Seven of Cups here. Spirit, tell me more about the star. Okay, yeah, the Six of Swords. Some of you want to leave a difficult situation here. This is weighing on your mind. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. I think this is kind of like your wish here, strength. Yeah, it's like you need to be strong or have courage here with uh, with a strength card, Leo energy. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're the one that's making this choice or debating something within yourself. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. It could be accepting this person. It could be forgiving this person. It could be leaving a relationship or uh, moving. King of Swords. I feel like you are um, being very uh, analytical, logical about this decision or trying to be with the King of Swords. I feel like a lot of you need to be honest with yourselves regarding this decision. Can I get one more? With the Two of Pentacles, please. Let me get some more insight about this Two of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, yeah, Two of Wands. Um, some of you could be thinking about home life or your happy, a happy home, a healthy home, a stable home. Um, some of you could just be thinking about having peace, graduating, or having some sort of um, rite of passage where it's like you want to level up here. I think you're worried about making the right choice or... Um, I don't know. It's, it's almost like maybe this person has gotten in your head a bit because I have I replay our conversations over and over. Or perhaps this is something that is more positive. This could be somebody that you've talked to, um, this person, and maybe they're encouraging you. But I just have a feeling that um, this person has has done something to kind of make you think about this move. Tell me if that reson resonates for you in the comments. Um, I feel like a lot of you are thinking about leaving a connection and let me know if that's the case for you as well, because I, I do see that here, um, quite a bit, like you wanting to leave a situation. This could also be some of you wanting to leave a difficult work situation as well, because I have finances and career here. So let's look at this other person. Spirit, tell me more about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about this person that Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? 
we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more about this person. The Sun. What else about this person that Taurus is dealing with? Judgment. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this person is um waiting for something with the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they've been working on something because I have the Eight of Pentacles here. I don't know if this person's trying to work on their money, their finances, like their, their career. But why does this matter with you? Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What's this about? This person could be working on something in order to have a second chance here, a revival. Maybe they're having an awakening because I have finding out the truth. Five of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. This could be finances for this person. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Justice. It's like they're trying to balance out their finances, balance something out in their life. Libra energy. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person, um, maybe they're being a bit sneaky when it comes to money or trying to be strategic here with money. But I'm, I'm still struggling to find out why this matters with you. It, it could be that they're trying to impress you by showing you that they are, you know, improving with their financial situation. Or maybe they want to rebalance a situation that left them out in the cold with you. Because I have, I want a second chance here with the butterfly. So it's like they want, they want to have a change in this connection. Tell me about judgment. Ten of Wands. Okay, you both have the Ten of Wands. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? The wheel. Interesting. So this person is um, wanting to have some sort of opportunity. I feel like they desperately are wanting a change here. Yeah, Ace of Wands. So you both want a new beginning. I just don't know if you're both on the same page about what that new beginning is. Why the sun? For this person, why the sun? Why is the sun here? Four of Wands. So they're thinking about home as well. I feel like you're both thinking about the same thing. Tell me about the sun. Two of Cups. A happy home with their partner. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's some sort of regret here in the past regarding partners home so okay so i'm getting um a little bit more clarity here so this is this is what i'm seeing taurus some of you are already with this person maybe you have a home life with this person and it's, it's there's difficulty that has arisen in this connection where someone has made a mistake or has done something to mess with the stability of this connection and i feel like you are ready to move on from this person um i feel like some of you are thinking of the children or thinking of assets when it comes to this uh, decision though. So I feel like that's kind of like messing with your movement here, because I have taking action. I know that that's what you want. You, you want to make a move here. That's very clear. Um, this person, I feel like they're trying to maybe make it up to you, or uh, maybe they're thinking about making a move themselves. Maybe this is something where you both are gonna be, you know, but I have a feeling that this person's gonna have some sort of regret with what has happened to make you want to move or move on. That's one thing I'm seeing. Another thing I'm seeing is that this could be a situation where this person and you had something in the past. And maybe there was a waiting period here. And uh, maybe they couldn't make up their mind about something or you couldn't make up your mind about something. Something happened in this connection where um, now you're kind of thinking of you want stability. You want someone that has it together. You want someone that um, can give you what you can give them. And so I'm thinking, I'm picturing you thinking of your future. And so you're more thinking about the future and this person's thinking about the past. So those are the two messages that I see here. Um, you know, pick whatever um, group you're in, Taurus, because I feel like I'm reading for two very different groups of people. So let's see what's headed for this connection. I'm going to clear up the board here. 
Now I'm going to pick a, a couple cards for the out, potential outcome here for the near future. So let's see. What's what's next, Spirit? What's next for this connection between Taurus and this other person? What can Taurus expect? What's next, Spirit, for this connection? What's next? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Some sort of clarity, maybe a very important communication that happens between you. What's next? What's next for this connection? Nine of Wands. What's next? Trust is an issue here, I feel. Someone's um, guarded here in this connection um, or, or in this conversation. You know, it could be that someone is um, a bit on the defense here. Yeah, because I feel like this is someone, and I feel like this might be your energy here, Taurus, where it's almost like uh, you're ready to move on. And it's like you're not really interested or you don't really trust someone's intentions in keeping you here. What's next for Taurus and this other person? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So something slowly coming together here, slowly. Um, someone's being patient, uh, waiting for the right time here. Um, this could be things working out, resolving themselves over time. But this is kind of what I see. I see a conversation that's going to take place that is almost like um, make or break this whole thing, um, this whole connection. I feel like this is some sort of truth that someone is needing to communicate to the other person. This could also be some sort of breakthrough that one of you has. Um, I feel like uh, there is going to be some sort of balance though at the end of this, no matter which group you fall under, you know, no matter what happens with this conversation or breakthrough, I feel like there's going to be some sort of balance that is restored. Um, I just think it's gonna be different for both of the groups what that balance being restored means, right? Uh, let me know if this reading resonated for you in the comments. Um, also, feel free to like, subscribe if you want to see more readings from me. If you enjoy the reading, please consider hitting the like button. I'd love to um, have you stay and um, continue to watch the channel and see what other messages come out for you. Um, I really appreciate all of you who are been have been so supportive um, with my channel and continue to watch. Um, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.